inspired by the Spirit. Because we worship Him in spirit and in truth. There's some that go over the Word with their children and they pop up with the Word and pop them Scripture on there and actually cause rebellion. They'll move them to rebellion. But if you give the Word by the Spirit, that's the Word from afar. Right. You can read this in your own mind. But she brought it, her food from afar. It comes from the throne room of what? Heaven. Y'all see this yet? You say, well, you're just making this up. Let, let, let's keep reading. Watch this. She rises also while it's yet night. What did John 9, 4 said? Jesus said, I must work now because night comes when no man can work. Why is yet darkness? What did it say in Isaiah 60? Darkness has come upon the earth. Isaiah 60, verse 2. Gross darkness among the people. And yet even in this season of darkness, she still rises to do what? And gives me there's a Hebrews 14, 5, 14. Scroll, man. I, got I see some of y'all trying to... What is he talking about? Watch this. Hebrews 5, 14. It says... Well, go to, go, let me go to 12. It says, For when... For when... For the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. What does a mother do? A mother's a teacher. Right. Y'all notice that? She teaches us many things, but Daddy may be out there working in the field and getting that money to, to bring home and pay the bills. Mama's at home teaching, isn't she? This is talking about teaching. And she taught some. She taught them these many things. She taught them what God had taught her. She had no resource like the Bible at that time. But she taught her what taught him what God had taught her. And it says. You have need that one teach you again. For the first principles of the oracles of God and are become such as in need of milk and not strong meat. Now what did, what did the proverb just say? She has strong meat. That means she's not one on the milk. She's been in the throne, she's been in the heavenly throne room praying. She's received from God many answers and wisdom and understanding to give her children. That's a virtuous mother. Y'all see what I'm talking about here? Let me keep on reading. For it says, For everyone who uses milk is unskillful with the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongs to them who are full age, even those by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Do you know how important this is in our season that we're in? Yeah. That the mothers... I don't care how old your children are. If they're 24, 25, 30 years old, still, that in this season of night, that you need to give them meat. You need to start ministering to them. You need to start ministering to your children. Fathers need to take be the head of the household like they're supposed to be. All these years, when I was brought up in a Baptist church, I, and, and partially the Church of Christ on my grandmother's side, I seen the women going to church, but the men wouldn't go. Anybody been in church a long time? The mothers would take them children to church and the men would lay off and go fishing or something. Trying to catch the big old bass. whole time going to hell. Didn't want Jesus. Want a bass. Well, I don't want a bass that bad. I like fishing. Trust me. I, I was out there. I'm red now. I was out there all day yesterday. But believe me, I want Jesus. And I want my children to love Jesus. Amen? Well, for years it's been that the women have been in the church and the mothers have been doing that job. I've noticed that. And this little church is kind of balanced. It's good to see a lot of men are in church, praise God. Amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Amen. I hope I'm not just talking to myself here. But what she did is she made it an attempt, she made an effort to get with God, to have that strong meat in her heart that she could give her children. A legacy. Many people want to leave their children an inheritance. But I've got to work hard so I can leave my children something behind. So I can leave them a home, leave them some land, leave them some money. That ain't nothing. That's material stuff and it'll all burn up. But if you leave them the word of the living God because you have been in prayer with Jesus, amen, you have received that strong meat and you've been giving it to them, guess what? It will not return void. It will keep them out of jail many times. It will keep them out of hell many times. Amen. They got free will to repent and receive, but I tell you what, that word will not return void. It will continue. It will continue to go over their mind every time they're in, in darkness. So even by night, she didn't withdraw it says in Proverbs, even by night, she fed them meat. It says, she rises while it's also yet night and gives meat to her household 
And then, of course, into her maidens. That means she taught even her friends. Hello? Mm -hmm. That means she was, she was teaching her household and her maidens. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hand, she plants a vineyard. What do you think that field and that vineyard represent? You know, Jesus said not to cast your pearls before swine. So what we do many times is we jump out there, we'll throw the gospel at them, or we'll throw what God's given us, and, and the people don't want to receive it. But if you consider that field, that good ground, and you pray about the person that you're going to minister to, amen? You're considering that field. Remember the field? Some of the seed fell by the wayside. Some of the seed fell on rocky ground. Y'all get where I'm going with this now? The field's a heart. So she considered the field when she's ministering. This woman ministered to people and ladies and everything else. And she considered that field and said, that's good ground to sow seed on. Do we ever consider others like that? If we have love, if we have true love for God and true love for others, then we, we actually consider others that we're ministering to. We're not just throwing the gospel out there and saying, well, let's pass the collection plate now. I'm a big preacher. We're actually considering each so we are speaking to. We're considering that field. Amen? That heart. And we're trying to sow good seed in there if you have love. If you don't have love and you just want to be a minister, just want to, you know, look good. Like the, what, what, what is that neon rainbow song? I want to be heard and seen. I want to get up on the stage like the preacher. Have the big hair dude, man. Have the nice rides and jaguars. Just preach the prosperity gospel. Be heard and seen. It don't matter really what the people are going to do. They all go to hell and go to hell. No, if you really have love, praise God. You consider the field. You consider the people you're preaching to. She considered the people she was ministering to because she loved them. Amen? Amen. Amen. I feel the Holy Spirit on this. I, I'm telling you, I didn't see it. I was reading this last night. He started showing me. I said, wow, we need to consider the field. The hearts of the people. We need to have true love to where we want to give them the truth and teach them what the Lord's taught us. Amen. Amen. The Lord taught Bathsheba many things. Oh, she was wicked, wasn't she? Her own husband it was even killed by David. Yeah, but guess what she did? She repented. Amen. She had to repent. For him to talk like this about his mother and what he seen in that household and what was happening in that household, whoo, he's honoring his mother. Isn't he? mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Verse 17, she girds her loins with strength and strengthens her arms. Ephesians 6.14. We went over that about a month ago. What do you gird your loins with? Truth. That's part of the shield of faith. So she girded her loins with the truth of God's word that he spoke to her. Amen? Amen. Mm -mm. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Her candle goes not out by night. And that's Matthew 5, 14 and 16. You don't put a put light of candlestick and stick it under a bushel, do you? Nope. And that's what Jesus said. You are the light of the world. Many of us... Men and women have allowed our light to go out or we've taken our light and we've hid it and put it under a bushel. That means we have become a hermit. We have stopped speaking the Word of God. 